Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to my home worm farming channel. If you are looking for a friendly, welcoming vermiculture community, you are in the right place. Today we're looking in on the African Nightcrawlers and the Vermibag Little Mammoth. And we actually are looking in on two experiments. Number one is the experiment with the packing blankets. And number two, a uh, local person actually called me and asked me if my worms could eat hemp leaves. And I thought, well, I've tried just about everything else. Why not? Now, I thought that they were going to give me about a handful. And believe it or not, what's left on top of here was a garbage, not a garbage can, but a garbage bag full. So all we see left is this kind of like, almost like seaweed looking stuff. But this was actually quite a bit, probably 20 gallons of leaves, which of course, you know, once the worms get at them, they go down pretty easy. And it looks like they really have done a very good job with the exception of the stems. But what I am seeing is a very serious uh, mite bloom in here, which is interesting. I don't really know a lot about hemp growing, but I do know that uh, I think things are sticky and maybe that's why the, the mites showed up. So if you're out there listening, uh, yes, they do eat leaves. And apparently they need some mites to help them out. So looking at the packing blankets, still getting finished. This is on month number three. So they're not finished with them in month three, but they're definitely making headway. And also we had fed them about two gallons of watermelon or other kinds of melon. And that is seemingly gone. And that was about three or four weeks ago that the melon was put in here and then about two weeks ago that the, the hemp leaves were put in. The moisture is not great in here so I am going to address that. We have started having furnace season already. But I'm going to dig down here just a little bit to see if there's any food left at all. And I'm not, you wouldn't expect to see melon after three weeks. But, uh, you know, have to look anyway, right? That's every uh, worm farmer's favorite game. What is that partially decomposing food? And I am not seeing any of it here. Yep, so they have done a really good job. Now I'm gonna put some of these sticks and stems down a little bit deeper so they can get more of the love of the worms and various bin critters. Now I am going to go get some more water and then we will talk about the rest of the experiments. Okay, so one of the questions I had was, has anybody else tried to compost hemp leaves and stems? And if you had, what kind of worms did you use and how long did it take before these stems were broken down? So what I'm gonna do here is a little unusual is I'm gonna take this dry paper and I'm gonna put it in a bucket of water so I'm kind of doing this a bit reverse. As opposed to adding water to the bin, I'm gonna take out the super dry stuff and add that to water and then put it back. I don't really want this bottom part to become swampy. And I'm afraid that if I add a lot of water on top of this, that's exactly what's gonna happen because this bottom layer is nice and moist here. So I don't wanna physically pour water in here like I would in the winter time when it's super, super dry. So today's food is going to be a lot of peppers and tomatoes, onions and garlic. You may notice I'm not touching it because those are habaneros in there. And I'm not wearing gloves, which is funny. I don't wear gloves in a worm bin, but I absolutely wear gloves when I'm messing with hot peppers. So as I've mentioned before, there really are no forbidden foods. There's just foods you should, you know, may regret putting in. I did an entire bin at one point with meat in it and eggs and that sort of thing. And although the worms did eat it, it smelled horrible and it attracted a lot of flies. So the worms can eat just about anything. You just may not enjoy it yourself. So now that this is all nice and damp, I'll put it back. Then I'm gonna pour the slurry back on top. Okay, so you will get to see how those 
uh, red peppers and hot peppers degrade over time, but I assure you that between the worms and my favorite little whirly pulleys here, which I'm trying to find one for you, this one has got really cool coloration. Darn it, where did he go? Okay, he did not want to be on camera. All right, so anyway, so we've got a couple of experiments still going on here. We have got the packing blankets, we have the hemp stems, and then now we have the hot peppers, which I've done before and I do not anticipate there being any problems with at all. And here's my little rolly pulley buddy. Look at that cool color, like with the stripes on him. I've not seen one like that before. And in case you're wondering, I just let the dogs be loose today, but with the dog gate. So although they're having a small fit, they're not barking their brains out. So that's a benefit to you guys and to me. All right, so we're gonna put the plastic back on top of here to keep everything moist. And we will see what this looks like in another three weeks. If you like this bin or the African night crawlers, I have a playlist right over here that you can watch. And if you've already seen that, then YouTube thinks you are gonna like this video right over here. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.